What's up guys, welcome back to NZ Tour Reviews, you're kicking it with Kiwi Comms. Today we're going to be looking at the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Converting Zords Part 3 by Hasbro. I picked this one up the other day and just like always we're going to be looking at three things. Packaging, quality and most importantly the price. So let's do this thing. First thing on the list, packaging. Where's a better place to start than the external? Let's have a look at the front of the box. Just like the last two morphers we had a look at, it looks kind of the same. All that we have is a different robot. The overall look of the box is exactly the same, which I like. The last two morphers were triple converting. This one here, only two modes, just like a transformer. Other than that, still pretty cool. So there's the front guys, let's have a look at the sides and the back. Here we have some artwork. At the top we have Beast X Megazord and at the bottom Ultra Zord. Really cool. And here we have the back of the box. I love how Hasbro has designed their boxes. They all look the same. Really cool. So the overall look, love it. Top left corner, we have the list of Zords we're collecting. We looked at the Beast Racer, one of the sleekest designs out of the five, I think. We've looked at Beast Wrecker one of my favorites out of the five we're now on the beast chopper we just need these two now so just stay tuned for those videos guys look out bottom left we have beast x megazord and ultra zord these two transformations are a must see i'm really excited but let's look at this zord here we're gonna do the jack rabbit mode the beast mode and we're gonna do the chopper mode the vehicle mode let's continue with the external packaging and here we have the beast chopper in the jack rabbit mode nice so there we have it guys the front sides and the back of our beast chopper external packaging what more can i say hasbro always delivers when it comes to packaging love the artwork the drawings everything let's move on internal packaging now remember guys all nz toy reviews are aimed at adults because on this particular channel we like to use things like scissors and sharp knives just to open up our packaging so just bear that in mind from time to time as you can see we have a seal going across the back here we can use some scissors or we can use a sharp knife this time i'm going to use my army knife just make a clean cut here and just pull them out if you want to keep it in pristine condition i recommend that you do this but you can just rip it open if you like so remember guys we've got these rubber ties here as well but this time I'm gonna use some scissors. I always use my army knife, but let's just give it a go. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull them out. Now he's got this extra plastic part here. You can just cut it here. Just pull it off. Put him down there. Now let's get the rest of them out. Pop it out. Pop this one out. And this part here finally this part here so there we have it guys here is the internal packaging and there's also this little part here so i love this box that contains the robot and the molding nice job but i really love the molding i always stress about it it holds everything in place and it's just really nice man because it's not that cheap plastic that you usually find a two dollar shop toys you know what i'm saying it's high quality and the rubber ties love it Let's take a look now at the manual. So here we have the front, the inside of the front of the manual. It's giving us the instructions how to change from the jackrabbit mode into the chopper mode. I love all the images as well. And here we have the back of the manual. It's showing us the Beast X Megazord combination transformation. Just stay tuned for this one here. It's gonna be very interesting and I can't wait for that one guys. It's gonna be awesome so there we have it guys the external and internal packaging i'd like to thank hasbro again hands down all the chips on the table always delivering great packaging outside and inside it's always a pleasure let's move on now to quality quality guys finally my favorite part of the video now what's a better way to show the quality of this toy <laughs> transforming it two modes so we have the jackrabbit mode, the beast mode, and we have the chopper mode, the vehicle mode. 
So let's grab our manual. Let's do this thing. And here we have it, the Jackrabbit mode, or what I like to call the Beast mode. This is my favorite transformation out of the two, and it's the easiest one to do. Nice. Transformation one done, moving on, next transformation. And finally, here we have it, the chopper mode, or what I like to call the vehicle mode. Now, this is the most difficult mode out of the two to do. Now, you can flip the cockpit around and have the jackrabbit face on. It's really up to you. For me, I prefer the cockpit looking out, so it really looks like a chopper. But it's really up to you. Both ways, still looks cool. Quality side of this thing, it's a Hasbro toy. What's more to say, they always deliver when it comes to quality toys love it moving on now to price now i picked this one up from the warehouse in monaco on kevin this drive for 35 dollars for this kind of quality toy and packaging uh, i think it's worth it but a couple of dollars cheaper wouldn't hurt either also i may have found a flaw in the design or i'm just not putting it together properly but the red helmet part that connects to the bottom of the chopper gets in the way and it doesn't sit properly when it's on display so for the sake of this video, I needed to remove it just so it could sit flush with the table. But that's my only downside to this toy, a little bit of the price as well. Now since the making of this video, the warehouse have completely sold out on this toy. And the only other place selling it is Farmers. But not for $35. $45. Yo, check please. So there we have it guys, the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Converting Zords Part 3 by Hasbro. I really appreciate you watching and if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll leave links in the description. If you have any other questions or other toys you want me to check out, just let me know in the comments down below. And you know what, I'll see y'all on the next NZ Toy Review. Laters!